I don't know where to begin. So, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm just going to kind of cover everything that I can think of right now. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, so you all can hear me. You know that I don't sound right, <laughs> which I don't. So I got a cold. Well, it's actually worse than a cold. I was checked for pneumonia again. That was negative, so there's no pneumonia. But I have a double ear infection and bronchitis because I have coughed so much for the past like week and a half that my voice goes in and out I have coughing spells that sometimes I can't control um, and my ears are hurting and I just I feel like blah okay so long story for short I'm just gonna jump into this um, new subscribers may not know this but I have lupus and lupus is an ANA disease which um, it's like autoimmune disorder disease. I don't know whichever technical term they are using to call it It is where your body attacks itself. So It see you see yourself as a foreign object and your body is trying to hurt it in other words constantly 24 7 all the time it doesn't stop So I have that I was diagnosed with that last year didn't know why I was sick for the past several years and everything like I had no idea that's what it was I was in and out of the hospital like several times a month constantly sick and all that and yeah so you all kind of understand where I'm coming from here so I have it it sucks and no one else is sick in the house it's just me so I got it from who knows what I could have been at the gas station I could have been at the store I could have been walking past somebody on the street like I don't know but somebody with a germ that germ traveled and got into my system and here I am trying to fight it away with trying to keep myself you know sane which it's very hard I'm not gonna lie it is extremely hard to do this but I have to keep pushing and I have to stay strong when I get sick it is awful it is like a hundred times worse than anybody else would be sick so yes that there there's my story rolled into one so I have like five doctors under my care right now between lupus and my primary care and um, OBGYN I see the Cancer Center Oncology because I am severely anemic. My blood count, like your body, your total blood volume in your body is supposed to be like above 15. Like 15 units or whatever it's called. It's like 15 is like the magic number. 15 and above, you're great. Mine's like a 6 to 7. All the time. I've had blood transfusions and sometimes it brings it up and sometimes it doesn't do anything and I hate to have them but I've had so many now that it just doesn't phase me and if I have to have any more oh well but I've been down as low as having like three my number was a three I remember that they were like I, the hospital said you're like the walking dead I thought it was kind of funny but at first I thought it was funny at first I mean but really that was not funny because they're like how are you talking to us right now like it was really creeping me out okay like I was scared this was like about four years ago so of course they give me a whole bunch of transfusions I'm in the hospital for like three days I think or something like that and um, they got me well and shipped me off and I was back home so it's been a constant battle I don't want to drag anybody down with that. I was just kind of like giving you a backstory to why I was always sick and not knowing really what the heck was going on. So, I do have lupus and I can catch everything a hundred times plus worse and faster than a normal person without it would catch it. So, in other words, I have to be very, very, very careful who I'm around and everything that's why I'm a germaphobe and no matter how much I spray Lysol or wipe the counters down or do anything pertaining to killing germs it finds a way to get me 
which it's done right now. So there's kind of like the update on my sickness. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about. Oh, I have surgery April 28th. I'm having a total larposcopic hysterectomy. I'm probably murdered that middle word, but close to it, larposcopic. It's like incisions all in my belly. I think like five totals, what they said. Uh, if I don't, or well, if he gets in there and he can't do it laparoscopically, I have to have like a C-section cut from one end of my belly all the way over to the other. That just depends on him. If he says he can't do it this way, then I end up doing it the other way. But either way, it's a total hysterectomy. I don't know if I get to keep my ovaries. He, he said hopefully, but once he gets in there, he doesn't know. Like, I might not be able to keep them. I might. I have no idea. I've never had a hysterectomy. Well, I don't. My my family have had hysterectomies in the family, but I'm, no one really talks about it because it was so long ago. So I really don't know. So if anybody's had a hysterectomy that watches me, leave like your story, or you don't have to go into everything. But let me know. Do you feel better after it? Did it help? Did it not help? Was there side effects or anything? Let me know. That would help me out a great deal. And, ease some of this worry this will be my fifth surgery in the past year or yeah in the, in the past year it hasn't even been a full year yet but I've already had four surgeries and it's not even been a full year so this will be number five I'm just adding them on and you would think that after each surgery things would get better or I, my anxiety level would be less knowing I know what's going on but it's honestly it's not because you you worry about that stuff now if, maybe some people don't but I do so there's my um, my take on things, I guess. Um, next is I still have not found a place yet because I'm super picky. And I don't mean picky as in like it's got to be high class. I mean picky as in good neighborhood. Are the schools okay in that area? Um, is the price reasonable for what amount of square foot or what it is? Like if it's an apartment, is it reasonable for the amenities that you get? If it's a house, is the house decent for the price? You know, that kind of thing. Because there's been a lot of like price gouging here in this area. Like I'll go look at a house or something, an apartment, usually houses. The house could be nice on the inside. Well, I would think it's nice on the inside from the pictures, and the pictures are misleading on the internet. So you go and it's like, y'all want like almost a thousand dollars for this? No. <laughs> Heck to the no. I'm not paying that for what you are offering. You know, you need to step your game up a little more if you want somebody to pay almost a thousand dollars for your house. No, honey, it doesn't work that way. So that's what I mean when I say picky. I don't want to have to just move somewhere and then turn around the year later when the lease is up and like oh well I don't like it here we're moving again no I'm trying to find somewhere that I can be for a long long time so that is still like in the works I haven't found a nice cozy place yet hopefully soon hopefully soon oh uh, let's see uh number two or number three I guess it's really number three um those of you who don't know, or maybe you do, I don't know. I kind of made a little update on it. I traded my van in and got a new SUV. I had a 2008 Chrysler Town & Country. It had 165,000 miles on it. Things were going wrong with it. It was just it was just time for it to go. Like The mileage was high enough. Traded it in, and I got a... 2014 GMC Acadia it's an SUV I love it to death but I also I'm a G I'm a GMC a Chevrolet I've liked all them kind of make that make of car always since I was driving stuff so I would take a Chevy over a BMW a Lexus or a Mercedes any day and that's just how I am you know I'm not about the high class it's just a image and that's what I don't understand why people oh I got me a new Lexus I'm like that's great I'd rather take my Chevy or a basic car over your Lexus but that's just how I am again no offense to anybody who owns a Lexus or Mercedes and all that and yeah more power to you but I just don't really care for those that's just not me 
I stick to normal things. So if anybody's looking for looking into a GMC or an Acadia, I guess GMC is kind of just whatever. But I love my Acadia. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Two thumbs up in my book. All right, moving on to number four. Um, well, really, the kids are good. You know, um, Jalen and Ariana's grades have improved. That's great. Talon's doing good in preschool. Um, I mean, there's no negative there, except there's this girl. I mean, grades are good, but Jalen has this girl who keeps bullying her, and it's just really making me mad. I have went and talked to the school. I have called the school. I'm like, I don't know what else to do about that, but obviously the parents of this little girl don't care that her child is bullying so that's a whole nother can of worms and I don't really want to get into that right now but we're dealing with a bullying situation in elementary school and I can only imagine what it's like in high school now or middle school and that's where Jalen is next year she'll be in middle school so hopefully by then you know things are different so there's this school update um let's see what else is going on here i mean i'm trying to like kind of cover all the basics oh um well it's not well i'm doing a spring clothing haul when i get all the items i will do it i ordered like a bunch of stuff for the kids so shopping for four kids is highly expensive word to the warning yes but it's enough that I don't think they need anything else. Okay, I'm saying that, but I'm trying to be serious right now. Like, they should not need anything else unless I find sandals and all that stuff. But I didn't buy any of that. But I bought shorts, um, capris, t-shirts, all that. So everybody got something, a couple of items each, and that should be enough because there's still some things from last year that I kept that I have to see if they can fit which they probably can so I think we are good so stay tuned for a spring and summer clothing haul that will be coming as soon as I get everything also I am going to keep up with the meal planning and the grocery hauls because I think that I'm, I'm loving this like I know what I'm gonna do for the week I have my grocery list made out and if there's no guess on, well, what's dinner today? You know, what am I going to fix? I don't know what I'm going to do. I know. It's like Monday is this, Tuesday is this, Wednesday is this. It's like it's all rolled out because I like to have stuff. I like to see stuff and visualize things and all that. So it's like that That was great. The little meal planner thing I got from Amazon, I'm loving that. Loving it. So there's like things like new things y'all can keep a look out for so whenever I do it just stay tuned for that if you like some meal ideas I mean that might help you all you can't think of something that you want to cook maybe my meal planning ideas might help you all out just thought about that so stay tuned for all that but I mean really I think that's about it uh it is March 1st um, the only other big news this month, at least I think is big news, for me it's big news, Brielle will be turning two years old March 13th. Oh my god, I have a two year old on my hands. Good lord, Jesus help me out here. Woo! They grow up too fast. Way too fast. I swear it just seems like I just had her. Like I just had her. But she's gonna be two this month, so there's some stuff to look out for I just realized 12 days away and this girl's gonna be two years old ouch so yeah stay tuned for that um but really other than that I think I've like covered everything that I can think of right now so if there's something I didn't cover that you might want to answer just drop it in the comments and I'll just reply to your comment on whatever it is and hopefully I have an answer for it I should have an answer for it so yeah, anything that I didn't cover here, which I tried to kind of cover everything, but if I didn't, leave it in the comments. I'll be glad to answer it. Oh, and another thing, um, I noticed I hit 300 subscribers. 
So that was that was awesome. You know, I never I don't really pay attention to the subscriber count because I mean, you look all the time and it seems like it never moves, but I I mean, I just looked last night and I'm like, "Oh my god, I have 300 subscribers." Thank you all so much for joining the family. Old subscribers who've been there from the start and new subscribers, you all welcome to the channel and everyone. It's just, it's great. I'm glad you all are here. I'm loving the support that you all have given me. I'm very blessed and I hope you all are blessed as well throughout your daily lives. But I know I am. That was like a huge milestone for me. You know, when you start out, and I just wanted to document stuff because of me being sick. I wanted to be able to look back on life and see, like, how was it a, a year ago, you know? And the kids can look back and see what they did. And that is the reason why I started my channel, was so that the kids can see what they were doing and family can keep up to date without actually being with us. I have family in California and local family and it's like everybody can see what's going on in our life without actually being here so that that was that means a lot to me and it's very special that I can share that with them and with all of you guys and of course I take you all around with me everywhere I'll let you all know everything that's going on pretty much everything some stuff is a little TMI and I just don't get into it because I just feel like you all don't want to hear that so I don't but everything else of course you all see the kids you see me you know what's going on I'm just I am just blessed and what's the quote I might have it exact I might not have it right but it's like live life today because tomorrow is never promised and that's how I have to look at life and I view it that way now because I never know what's gonna happen the next day so I just try and stay positive and just be blessed because what I have, I have four awesome kids that I wouldn't change for anything. And it's just, you know, I'm glad I was able to have four because honestly, after Aerie, I didn't think I was going to have any more. And then here comes Talon. And then, oh my God, here comes Bree. You know, so I'm very blessed for what I was blessed with. So, um, I'm going to wrap it up here because I can tell that I'm starting to, my throat is feeling funny again and I just feel like it's closing up on me. Ugh, I can't stand it. I'm coughing so much. I've done enough talking. I've talked now for 17 minutes. So that is enough. I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for all the new updates this year. Hopefully, we're just going to have fun and just the summer's coming. We're just going to, we're just going to, we're going to do whatever we plan on doing. So, stay tuned for all the activities and the fun stuff and the zoo trips and the everything, everything, everything. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and stay tuned. I will see you guys in my next video.